It's Senior Bowl week down in Mobile, and a whole bunch of draft-eligible players are going to be heading down there, getting their practice on, one-on-ones. The game, don't pay attention to the game, because that's exactly how you get Christian Ponder, number 12 overall in 2011, the Senior Bowl MVP. No. Uh, but here are five players uh, you should watch as Minnesota Fighting Vikings fans. Now, uh, the Senior Bowl is mainly about highlighting small school guys, non-SEC players. Uh, so we love Bama, we love LSU, but you've seen those guys. Like, we we kind of know what you're going to get. Uh, but small school, non-Power 5 guys, how are they going to compete uh, versus top flight competition? I think that there's an opportunity for a lot of these uh, small school, potentially lower round guys to really help out their draft stock, especially with no combine this year. Uh, so here are five in the mix, small school, under the radar dudes, sort of day two, day three. And don't be like, dur, 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 watch Devontae Smith. We've seen Devontae Smith. He, he's... Uh, He's pretty good. He's pretty good. So here are five players. Uh, number one, Levi on Muzariki. That's right. Defensive tackle, the pride of Washington uh, uh, on the North squad. Now, he's a guy that we've liked. We've talked about him uh, on the show for the last couple months. Uh, Daniel Jeremiah was just like, I'm going to put it on the table, man. I'm going to mock him in the first round of our mock draft to the Chiefs. Woo! And it, it is possible because he is probably the best penetrating three tech like him and Davion Nixon, uh, Ali McNeil up there as well. But this is not a high-end defensive tackle class. This is not a surefire first-round guy, even with Barmore uh, blowing up the college football playoff. Uh, but uh, Wuzuriki, a Richard Sr., 6'3", 288, uh, one of the most explosive defensive tackles in the draft and might fall because of size uh, as well as he opted out for the season. Does have to work to get better. At the point of attack against the rush, but man, he just gets after it. And Washington used him all over the place. Three tech, one tech, edge. Uh, probably just going to stick and pick at, at the three tech uh, in the NFL. 31 pressures, two sacks in 2019. Uh, 82.5 PFF grade. Has that first step. He, he, he does have that quick first step, getting out of a stance, getting low, uh, winning the leverage battle, and the Vikings do need that penetrator. Uh, it's important to see how he can hold up in, in the one-on-ones. Like, how's he going to, can he at least get a stalemate against Deontay Brown, the, the mammoth all-world guard, guard from Alabama? That'd be great to see. Uh, next up, uh, prospect number two, uh, Vikings fans should keep an eye on uh, down at the Senior Bowl, D. Wayne Eskridge, wide receiver, Western Michigan. Oh, I, I'm so... So he's the worst kept secret of the draft. Like he's a small school guy that everyone loves on the North squad. Big play D. Let's get that on. He's got that energy going. And again, it sucks because I think that he has a chance to really blow up in practice in one on ones uh, against Power Five cornerbacks as well as in the game. Uh, five nine, a buck ninety, redshirt senior. Now he reportedly ran a four three three forty. And if he can do that at whatever you know the combine pro days are going to be, damn. Damn, and also, if you watch the tape, that speed is legit. 33 catches, 768 yards receiving, 8 touchdowns receiving in only 6 games because uh, of the truncated matching schedule. Uh, he also handed off kickoff for duties this year, uh, kickoff return duties this year at 27.5 average, plus took one to the house. Now, he's only returned one punt. Can he do that? I mean, returning punts is a specific skill, but I, I definitely try him out there. Uh, and he's more than just speed. Like, he can run a full route tree, sinks his hips really well, has really strong hands. Uh, and also, you can play more than just a slot. You see short receiver. All right, slot, slot, slot. Now, we got Jefferson. we got Thielen. Uh, he can play outside. He can play at the X. He can play at the Z. Tough kid. Uh, former cornerback uh, for the Broncos. Uh, plays with that chip. And he reminds me of Devin DuVernay uh, from the draft last year. Was a mid-round pick out of Texas. Went to the Ravens. I uh, haven't really used him mainly as a kick return guy. But just as a shorter, uh, tough, over-the-middle type guy. I mean, he can absolutely do that. Uh, and he does have legit speed. He's in the conversation with Jalen Waddell. And in terms of like a value, like would you rather have Jalen Waddell top 10 or Eskridge top 60? It becomes a debate. It, it, I think it legitimately will. I mean, hell, it could be top 40 by the time we're all said and done after the Senior Bowl. Uh, next up, prospect three Vikings fans should keep an eye on at the Senior Bowl. Tyree Gillespie, uh, safety from Mizzou uh, on the South squad. Now, yes, yeah, we, we said that we're looking at smaller school, blah, 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 guys. And Mizzou is technically in the SEC, but it's certainly not a premier school. Uh, and also safeties do tend to fly more under the radar on the, unless you play at Bama or LSU or Clemson. So, yeah. Uh, but six foot two ten. Uh, senior, three-year starter for the Tigers, 146 career tackles, two sacks, uh, 12 career passes broken up, as well as posted an 80.0 PFF grade in 2019. Now, Dan Brugler of The Athletic actually mocked him to the Vikings, uh, I believe in the fourth round uh, in one of his articles. And when I watch Galepsi, 
he he's a tough dude. He he really is. Now he he's not Anthony Harris in terms of coverage skill. Well, he's not 2018, 2019 Anthony Harris in terms of coverage. Maybe he's about 2020 coverage. But uh, number nine, if you watch him when he lines up against Bama or Florida or Georgia, he does not give an f. Like he's gonna give full out effort every single time. He's like, hey, I fully understand. I might be the only NFL guy on my defense besides Nick Bolton. Uh, we're going to fight you. We're going to take you on. We're, we're Every single down is the Alamo. And I love that attitude. Like He does remind me of, of like peak Sandejo uh, around like 2017 Sandejo. And also the best of uh, Hussein Abdullah, if you remember him. Just like combine that. Uh, could be in the fourth round mix about there for the Vikings. Uh, next up. Uh, prospect number four, Vikings fans should keep an eye on at the Senior Bowl. Carlos Basham Jr., edge rusher from Wake Forest, uh, playing on the South Squad. Boogie Basham, uh, I, I love him. And, yes, the edge class, there's no Chase Young in this class, and it is sort of uh, uh, what's your flavor uh, edge class this year. And everyone talks about Pay and Rousseau and Aziz. I, I get it, but Basham, Basham's rock solid, man. 6'5", 275, Richard Senior, degree in communications, uh, and he is a throwback, like a pure power defensive end. Uh, he's going to set the edge. He's going to be good against the run, uh, and he'll just get after it. 2019 had 60 pressures, 10 sacks, 18 tackles for loss, and 86.7 PFF grade. Could have declared last year and probably would have been drafted potentially as a first-round pick. Uh, this year, uh, truncated schedule, six games, five sacks, four and a half tackles for loss, 25 pressures. Uh, did have a combined seven forced fumbles uh, over the last two years, and and he's not a twitchy edge. Like he's not going to be bursting off the line like a Pay or an Aziz or even like a Jalen Phillips. Uh, but he's going to bring that power, man. Like, like we said, he can set the edge uh, as well as um, he might be the best bull rusher in this class. I, I legitimately think so because he's already got uh, the man size uh, strength. Uh, could you call him like? Could you call him like a poor man's Cam Jordan? Like, I, I could certainly see that. Uh, and he could be in the mix. I think 14 is a little bit too rich, uh, but you do see him as potentially as a late first-round pick, uh, maybe a high-end second-round pick in the top 40 somewhere. So the Vikings trade down and are still in the defensive uh, and defensive line market. I think Basham uh, would make a lot of sense. Uh, well, many problems that... He's probably best suited for the close side of the field, so left defensive end. And if they do want to move Daniel Hunter to the right defensive end like they did uh, in 20. 18 uh, when Everson had his thing. Maybe, maybe, but that's nah, a good problem to have. Uh, lastly, prospect number five, Vikings fans should keep an eye on at the Senior Bowl, Dylan Raddins, uh, offensive tackle from North Dakota State University. Playing for the North Squad, uh, Trey Lance's blindside protector, six foot six, two 299, the pride of Becker, Minnesota, uh, about half an hour northwest of the cities, uh, headed up towards St. Cloud on I-94. If you're headed towards Alexandria, Lakes, let's go. Uh, now, he's got three things working against him. So, small school, Check. No no play in 2020 besides that one game against Central Arkansas. Check. Although he did play great in that game. Uh, and also, three, it's tough to gauge the left tackle of a mobile quarterback because it's always a question of, is he good or is his production or, or lack of pressures and sacks allowed because of the offense, where it's got a lot of read option, a lot of RPOs, as well as a mobile quarterback who can really help out an offensive line. It, it, like, is it that or is it good? Right? It's basically the Ronnie Stanley debate. Like, is he really worth $20 million a year? I don't know. I don't know. But uh, he's got size. He's got length. Uh, can certainly a add a little uh, bit of good strength as well. Uh, plus, he gets after in the run game. Like uh, NDSU, multi-time national champions. Uh, yes, Trey Lance th chucking the rock and not uh, throwing interceptions. But, I mean, they run. They get after. Go Bison. Uh, and also, he has the disposition of Alex Leatherwood. Like, He's feisty. I really do like the attitude. I also only allowed 11 pressures and zero sacks in 2019 and 349 pass blocking reps. So I still think that even if he has a really good week down in Mobile, I still think that he'll be in the day three mix. Uh, potentially, hell, maybe he works his way into the fourth round. It's possible. Or maybe he does have a you know Trey Pipkins type rise uh, in 2019 when he's coming out of Sioux Falls, end up being a third round pick to the Chargers. Not quite working out so far, but man. Uh, and, and yes, I know. Watch Deontay Brown. Watch Alex Leatherwood. Watch all those guys as well. But again, the Senior Bowl, it, it, it's big for the big school guys, sure. But the small school dudes can really make an impression, especially in practice, especially in one-on-ones against top flight competition. Let's go get it done. Uh, but that's it. Th that's five names uh, you guys should watch. Uh, what are some other ones that you guys like? Let us know in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Want to support that work? Pull us on the Venmo. But until next time, Skull Production Value.